Greetings, pilots. Your success in a battle depends not only on weapons, but also on your skills of flying your aircraft. That's why it's crucial to know and understand all about control settings. Let's take a look at how we can change them and what those changes will lead to. To control your aircraft in World of Warplanes, you can choose from mouse, keyboard, joystick, or gamepad. Most players use a mouse. To learn the basics of controlling an aircraft, you should complete the training. You will notice that your aircraft follows the mouse cursor. It's quite simple. Want to climb higher? Move the cursor up. Need to turn right? Move the cursor to the right. The aircraft will automatically roll, pitch, change its direction, and so on. How fast it will do it depends on the aircraft's technical specifications, on maneuverability in particular. There's still more to discover once you've finished your training. Let's take a look at more detailed control settings. Click Options and choose Controls. First, adjust mouse sensitivity. It's important since different mouse models have different counts per inch, CPI, and response time. The higher your mouse sensitivity is, the shorter movements you need to make to perform a maneuver. So why not put mouse sensitivity to maximum? But at some point, mouse movements become too sensitive, and even the shortest move will throw your aircraft into a steep turn. To make your aircraft movements more comfortable, adjust the sensitivity slider. Then, in the control settings window, choose Flight. Assign keys to empty cells to gain more control over your aircraft. Let's see what we have. Pitch up and pitch down. Roll right and roll left. Assign roll control to keys A and D. This will help you to maneuver more effectively. Yaw right and yaw left. To yaw means to change an aircraft's heading without rolling. Activate boost and apply air brake. You've already learned how these two functions work in training. When boost is activated, engine power increases. This allows you to gain speed and altitude faster. However, boosting causes engine overheating. Air brake idles the engine and reduces the aircraft's speed. An aircraft loses speed even faster if it has flaps that activate automatically. Decrease throttle and increase throttle keys will help you control your engine power. You can idle the engine or use, for example, 40% or 80% of its power. Every time you press the key, the engine power will increase or decrease by 20%. This helps you control your airspeed more precisely. For example, if you need to slow down to attack a slow-moving target. Flaps. They allow to decrease the radius of a 360-degree turn by making it tighter. You should keep in mind, though, that using flaps results in a loss of airspeed. There are two modes to extend flaps. The default mode is the hold the key mode. This means that flaps are extended while you are holding the key down. Flaps are retracted once you release the key. You can also choose the Press to Use mode. Press the key once to extend the flaps, and press it again to retract. The last point in the flight control settings is to level off aircraft. It's very useful if you can't determine your aircraft's orientation after you've completed a maneuver. Just press the key, and your aircraft will be returned to a straight and level attitude. There are even more control settings. You will find them if you click the Advanced Mouse Settings button. We will tell you about these settings and how to change them in the next episodes. Good luck!